we are celebrating the 85th anniversary of uh, the declaration of the Charter Day in Cebu City. There is going to be a mass of celebration here. Okay, in the Subbu ground, you will see different photos on the activity that involve the vaccination of all Cebuanos. Ayan, makikita nyo, no? Pabakuna ta! This was Chris Bakuna, no? The very comprehensive at the same time mega mega vaccination done here in Cebu City This is the father of uh, Cebu City. He was the very first mayor in the city of Cebu when it was declared as a charter city 85 years ago. And today, we will have a mask celebration. Here, fronting the city hall, Ito. we will be celebrating a mass. Hi, good morning. of the vaccination no ginawang vaccination ground kasi yung ano um, so, they don't have to go far kasi dito mismo sa ground ng Subu ground spreading magana vaccinate mega vaccination vaccination is a way to sell liberation Tama. this is Dr. Jeffrey Bonis and this is honorable Mike Rama and Don Vicente Rama the father of Cebu City and the theme for the 85th Charter Day is rising up and moving forward. Yes, good morning. Yes, so oh, there is going to be a mass here since it's a holiday. Sa Subbu, magkakaroon ng celebration, a mass celebration. Mismo and math will be celebrated as a very iconic religious structure, um, Magellan's Cross. Ito. And so the mass will be at 7 o'clock in the morning. As we celebrate the 85th. Charter Day. These are the honorable city government officials, the incumbent government, city government officials, 
and she was happy. We honor today ang amahan sa sugbo, dakbayan ang dakong kabilin ni Don Vicente Rama. This is the exhibit of Cebu City Government and Museum sa Sugbo on the 85th anniversary of Cebu Charter date February 21 up to 25 in the Cebu City Hall lobby. Visita mo diri so that you will know the history of Sulbo. That's the family tree of the Rama. sa mga attendees. Yan, bukas na. Today is the grand opening ng Santo Niño Park dito sa, ano, sa formerly Senior Citizen Park. Bukas na siya. There is an altar here. Yan, may pinapagawa silang altar where they can hold the mass. Parang pilgrim site na rin siya. This is the one. Napaganda. At saka, this is located just in front of the city hall. Yung mga historical talaga na mga landmark. At saka may mga benches po. Oh, where you can sit. Here. May ginawa silang mga benches. Para mas convenient naman sa mga Bumibisita. Yan. This was formerly Santo Ni, ano, as the Senior C Citizen Park. Napakaganda ng pagka-construct dito. Ayan, malapit lang to sa City Hall. Yan. At dito sa Kumpanya Maritima na building at malapit din siya. Tingnan nyo, malapit din siya sa Cebu, Cordoba. Link Expressway, yung third bridge, dito. At maglalagay ata sila ng mga stalls para sa mga pagkain. Ito, dito. May lagayan ng mga pagkain. Ayan. So, this is one thing that you have to look forward to. Sa mga bibisita ng Cebu, pwede na kayong pumunta sa Santo Niño Park, no? Dito, aside from the Santo Niño na pilgrim site, 
at San Antonio Church, you can also arrange uh, your tour by visiting itong napakabago, napakabago at napakagandang uh, San Antonio Chapel. Ito, located to sa formerly senior citizen na park. Okay? So, there is something to look forward to sa mga gustong bumisita ng Cebu, lalo nang hindi nakapunta dito for the celebration of the 500 years of the birth of Christianity. Kasi nga, uh, uh, early this year, medyo strict to tayo sa mga travel advisory. Ngayon, pwede na po kayong bumisita ng Cebu. Book your ticket sa Cebu at puntahan po ninyo napakagandang itong chapel at park. Santo Niño Park. Mala, madali lang siyang puntahan kasi just at the back of the city hall, malapit lang ito sa yung Cebu Cordoba Link Expressway na bridge.